guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the very first time my name is taylor i make video about my life in the uk as a senior carer so if you have not yet joined my beautiful family please click on that subscribe button turn on your post notification and you'll be the next to be in the uk as a senior carer or as a care assistant for those that have been sending messages on instagram i appreciate it a lot and thank god i have been able to help in every little way i can so if you have more questions for me my handle is always at the top of my videos so that you can easily easily assess me and uh, send me your message and i'll be able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one. so today i'm going to be talking about things you should do while waiting for your care visa Why don't make us who we are so i'll dream until i make it real and all i see is for those that have gone through this stage of visa application, you will know how rigorous and how stressful and how demanding and how challenging and how emotionally it takes from you and everything. So I want to make this process easy for you and tell you the things that I did while I was waiting to get that my care visa approved. My previous video, if you have not watched it, I told you the documents you need to apply for your tier 2 visa to get a successful visa application. So if you're watching this video and you've not watched that other video, please go back and watch that other video because you can't, you can't just apply without watching that video because a lot of things I did that got me my visa to be, I explained everything in that video. So go back and watch that video before you watch this video because you need to get that to that stage first before you get to this stage. So don't drop any stage. Go back and watch that video and come back and watch this video because I already explained everything to you on how to successfully get your visa approved. So if you are watching this video now, I have already done your visa application and you really follow that step I did, I will tell you congratulations because your visa is going to be approved in Jesus' name. Amen. So these are the things I did while waiting for my visa. Number one, prayer. Prayer is the key. Yes, I believe it and it works for me. As smoothly as you click apply, pick your application to start praying. Start praying like God, this is my master now, you hand it there right now. So start praying that your visa gets approved. There should not be any straightforward, non straightforward mail or whatever the case may be. Because during your visa application, they may end up sending you non straightforward mail. For example, you're supposed to submit a document and that is very crucial to your visa application. And your document was not submitted, that document was not submitted, they will send you a mail for you to submit it in 10 days. So what I prayed for was God. These documents I'll submit, let them not ask me for more, and they didn't ask me for more. So go back and watch that video. The next thing to do after praying is to join this Telegram group, Awaiting Decision, and also join this UK Skidwalker uh, Telegram group also. There's a lot of information that they will share for you while waiting for your visa, in case you have any questions, people are there, people like me, and other people in the Telegram group are there. So join that Telegram group, they will help you as well during while we are waiting for your visa application. If you're confident enough, like the way I was, start getting ready. Because me, I just wanted my visa to be ready. The next day, I carried my load and go. <laughs> that was what my this day. I was already, like, I was got, I've waited so long for this. So that I don't even want to wait any single day again. I just wanted to get my visa to say, travel tomorrow. But it was not really like that. Shy. It still took like a week if I moved. So get yourself ready. Start packing your things. The things that you need to sort. For example, your clothes. Because you can't carry loads. I will tell you, I will make up that video SS luggage that you're made. <laughs> so start arranging the things that you know that are important to you. Start sorting your clothes, sorting your house, the order if you're selling your stuff, start putting them on Facebook market now and start decluttering your wardrobe and everything because you are not going to take everything. You're going to pack all your life in two suitcases and just pack. So start putting yourself in order. Thing you should do while waiting for your visa is start looking for accommodation. Accommodation, no oh, accommodation. Start looking for accommodation. Do you know why I said start looking for accommodation? Even though you are going to stay in Airbnb, but please start looking for accommodation on time. Accommodation waits on your money. If you stay in Airbnb, you will know how much you are paying per night. So Airbnb costs as much as £200 per night. So please start as much as possible, quick as possible. Start checking the right move. Start booking for online inter uh, online interview or viewing of the house before you arrive. So that's what you should do while you're waiting for your care visa. If you're coming with children, start looking for schools around you. Because you're coming as a care worker, you already know the areas that your care home or your care industry is. So just look for, if you're looking for houses around that area, 
maybe t- uh, 10 miles away from that area so start looking for schools around that area as well so that you can familiarize yourself how long it will take from you from that house that you're looking for to that school that your child that you want your child to go to so familiarize yourself with that area because maybe they come you start putting them in school and if you have not looked for them for the school already you don't know where to go to so don't let don't let that not be a stress for you because by then, by the time you come, I just want you to know, oh, these are the schools around me. Let me just go there and look for application. Not start go ask to go, go school near me, school near me. You already know their requirements. We'll know what they want. So be proactive. Look for schools near for them before you arrive in UK. That thing you should do while waiting for your visa. Start buying free stuff. <laughs> I believe that you should start buying free stuff because if you followed what I was saying in that previous video, I don't think there's any reason why your visa will be rejected or less than a village before. So, <laughs> start buying food stuff. Food stuff can, if you buy your food stuff on time, you will save yourself, uh, like you start drying them on time, like your fish, your chicken, and everything. Yeah, say chicken, you cannot carry chicken, your fish, your oporoko, your obono, and the rest, you have to dry them and grind them so that it can last you for a very long time. So start buying your food stuff on time so that you can properly dry them and preserve them before coming because don't know where you're going to start using them, not only where you're staying in Airbnb. So make sure your fish is dry because my fish, half of my fish spoiled because I was not able to dry them properly before I came. So start buying your food stuff on time. While waiting for your visa, please, that JJC mentality, let's remove it before we come. Because I know you are going to struggle. First of all, you are going to use Google Maps. Google Maps will be your friend. So start using the Google Maps while you are still back for waiting for your visa. For example, you can just look for supermarket in that place that you are going to. So how far is the supermarket from where? How far is the bus stop from where? How to get a bus to get a bus ticket for you come? All those research. Just do research. Google is your friend. Start using Google. Do research. Google, where is this one? Google, where is this one? Google, Google GP near me. Google, where is this one? So start looking, making research. Like research about everything you are going to go. YouTube is your friend. Thank God now everybody now are posting videos. Oh, I'm so so and so place. Cost of uh, cost of living is so so and so place. Uh, a lot of videos are there on the internet. So make internet your friend. Make more research about where you are going to start. You can learn and settle easily in the UK like I did. So with this fifth point of mind, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I'll bring more, more amazing topics for us to discuss about. So until my next video, bye. I love you. Why don't make us who we are? So I'll dream until I make it real and all I see is